We'll be talking to Curly Moore. Who he? He's the resident tattooist at the Tattoo Club of Great Britain, a great national institution of whose existence I was hitherto unaware. And we're talking to Curly because job centre staff have just been told that they're free to use public money to fund tattoo removal if the inking is preventing a job seeker taking up employment. So, of course, the first question which emerges is should the taxpayer be paying for the removal of tattoos? I think not myself, and I hope that doesn't paint me, if you'll forgive the pun, as a reactionary. Uh, but I'm more interested, and I'd like to discuss further uh, on this. What is it with tattoos? When I was young, tattoos were things that old men who'd been in the Second World War, particularly who'd been in the Navy, had on their arms anchors or love and hate on their knuckles, mum and dad on the back of their hands. They were generally ugly things that the owner really wished that that drunken night in, uh, in Singapore uh, they hadn't had done. But the idea that the taxpayer would actually pay to get rid of the thing uh, would probably never have occurred. But everywhere I go now, I see brand spanking new and really fancy tattoo parlors. So tattoos are really making a comeback. So I want to hear from you about your tattoos and what you think of them. I personally think they're ghastly and awful. I don't even wear jewellery, never mind a tattoo, which is probably the ultimate in jewellery, is it not? I want to hear your point of view. 08717-223344. The investigative journalist and author of Reaping the Whirlwind, Al-Qaeda and the Holy War, about the wholly extraordinary story. And we're talking about tattoos later, so I'll probably leave uh, George and Adrian, Mohammed in Accrington uh, for the moment, if that's okay, and I'll read a few more texts. George Galloway for Prime Minister. I agree with you. Tattoos are horrible says Karen in Liverpool with a kiss. That is one of the subjects, Karen, that I want to discuss. When did tattoos become fashionable again? And why did they become fashionable again? How come tattooing has gone from something that happened up a dodgy uh, stair in an attic in Singapore when you were in the armed services uh, to being... Uh, some kind of art form, at least so far as its practitioners and its uh, customers seem to think. I mean, uh, am I dreaming or do I see tattoo parlors opening up all over the place? Is it only men that are getting these tattoos? Are women getting them too? Um, are these tattoos uh, works of art or are they monstrosities later uh, regretted? I have a feeling that it's the latter. 08717-223344. 